Yeah, and you know, Sharif, for more than a year now, Portman trailed in the polls in Ohio, but not anymore in the last few weeks. He has been holding a double-digit advantage, and if borne out by the count, it could be an early night for him and for his supporters who will crowd into the vault here in downtown Columbus. Senator Rob Portman has been taking nothing for granted, logging thousands of miles in his RV all over Ohio. If re-elected, as polling indicates he will be, he would have significant adjustments to make no matter who wins nationally. His previous Trump endorsement was pulled a few weeks ago. There's no one I trust more to deal with that adjustment than, than Senator Rob Portman. I think what you're seeing today is the culmination of maybe the best campaign ever run in the history of this state. I fundamentally believe it. I think that what, uh, what Rob Portman has been doing in the polls and what I I expect will be the result tonight will be historic in terms of his ability to run his own race, his own campaign, and to be his own man. There was a point where the Ohio Senate race was viewed as the most crucial in the country. Not anymore. Portman's expected to win by a margin of comfortability, keeping his Ohio Senate seat in the GOP column. And also at one time, this race shaped up as the most expen uh, expensive race in the country as far as a U.S. Senate race, but no longer the GOP was able to divert resources that would otherwise have been needed for this race to other states to try to help the Republican Party retain its advantage in the U.S. Senate. We are live in Columbus. John London, WLWT News 5. John, thank you. Not too far from John, also in Columbus. Supporters of Portman's opponent gathering this evening as well. WLWT News Vice Curtis Fuller uh, is with Ted Strickland's supporters tonight as they are ready to watch the results roll in. Here in Columbus, hopes of a victory party for former Governor Ted Strickland pretty slim. In fact, according to the state party chairman, he says the way this race was going, this was inevitable. The Koch brothers and other groups got involved and spent $60 million attacking him for the last year. Strickland, a popular Democrat, facing a strong incumbent in Rob Portman. And Ted Strickland was ahead of Rob Portman, ironically, for mo most of the race, six to nine points. Uh, but the Koch brothers and other groups who apparently like Rob Portman a lot, decided that this was going to be the state where they took tens of millions and attacked Ted Strickland. They've spent more money attacking him here in Ohio than any candidate in the country who was running for Senate. Pepper says there would have to be a huge surge tonight in order to overcome this deficit for the former governor, and he admits that is not likely. From Columbus, I'm Curtis Fuller, WLWT News 5.